Hello again, everyone. We're back live on the casino floor on the first floor, and we are all gathering around. Okay. Derek Stevens will be rolling the dice with other casino executives here in downtown. Change of plans. Change of plans are telling us to back off this table. One minute. Okay, where do you want us? So we're getting ready to watch and other casino executives downtown do the first roll of the dice. The ceremonial first roll of the dice. We're kind of packed in here like sardines. So circle opens at 12.01 a.m. in about 14 minutes. And Derek Stevens uh, for the ceremonial first roll of the dice with casino executives. Uh, his speech uh, at Stadium Swim, pretty much every casino uh, in Southern Nevada and how we're all in this together. He said they may come here and have a, a burger at Victory Burger and then they may go to Caesars or they may come to Sassy, uh, the Vegas Vicky Bar and then go to the Chandelier Bar at the Cosmo. He mentioned every casino, uh, including the Venetian, uh, saying that people may come early uh, for their con uh, convention at the Sands Expo Center and then may stay late in, in order to see Vegas Vicky or have a burger at Victory Burger. So. We are being herded. There are a lot of cameras here. So we expect Derek Stevens right at midnight to come and do the ceremonial first roll of the dice here. For those of you just tuning in, we are at Circa. The opening of Circa in downtown Las Vegas, the first ground up casino in 40 years in downtown Las Vegas. Derek Stevens, owner of the D and the Golden Gate, and his brother Greg are uh, the builders and developers of Circa. 777 room casino Circa. Uh, the name Circa is an homage to Las Vegas history. And uh, even the number of rooms, 777, that's a uh, homage to the original slot machines, the real slot machines, where if uh, three sevens came up, you had a jackpot. I see Derek Stevens over there with his uh, other casino executive friends. He seems very happy, like a proud parent. He's in the pit area, a lot of hugs. There's, there's photographers literally standing on the casino table. Everybody seems to just want to get as close as they can, get a picture, get to be able to see what comes up on the dice. Yeah. Because right? <laughs> we're so packed around this place, that you, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to see what he rolls. Yeah, I won't be able to, so maybe they'll tell us. I do like that they brought out a lot of the high-value checks. I, I don't know the exact dollar amount of the ones that they had up on the table, but they were the square plaques, not the round little chips. That's usually for the big money bidders. All so. right. Big money. Oh, it's the local newspaper, Las Vegas Review Journal. Oh, nice, nice. nice. Where are you from? Yeah. You're not from Las Vegas? Jason Rowe. Uh, as you are. But where do you live, dude? I'm from New York City. Oh, okay. So we're like New York Times, but for Las Vegas. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, review Journal. Yeah, yeah, yeah Review that. Journal, yeah. I love it. Thank you, yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you're live. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Hi everybody! I'm live. Uh, we have media from across the country. I just met a guy from New York City. It's getting a little crowded around here. 
people everywhere coming to Circa to see the first ground up casino in 40 years in downtown Las Vegas. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see anything. There's a lot of media here. So we have videographers uh, everywhere. Guys, I gotta have everybody five feet back off the table. executives, that's the guy who's standing on the table. Stevens is with his uh, friends, other casino executives. We didn't get a list uh, of who was there yet from uh, the PR reps, but Bailey Schultz is on it. This is reporter. She will tell you all the casino execs who rolled the dice with Derek Stevens. That's a lot of people, right? There's a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> Uh, looks like they might be working their way to the tables.
party has ended and everyone is welcome in circa 12 or 1 a.m. The doors open. People are screaming in. Trying to
Okay, I think we might move on from uh, from this craft table. I see Johnny Katz over there. I don't know if Derek Stevens is going to roll the dice. We were told that he was going to do the ceremonial first roll of the dice. Oh, nice to meet you. So, oh, coming through. Anyway, uh, I don't know if Derek Stevens is going to roll the dice. Obviously, it's not the first roll of the dice because they've been rolling dice here for a while. I might move over and try to uh, interview Johnny Katz. location. I don't think we're going to see Derek Stevens roll the dice. I'm going to try and work my way over. I see Johnny Katz over in the distance. What? Oh, wrap it up. Okay. We're moving on. So we're going back up to the Sorry. Johnny Katz, how are you, my friend? We're live on Facebook. What, what do you think about all this, Johnny? Uh, I, had a, I had a good time. Me too, me too. Did you uh, get to talk to Derek Stevens? I talked to him earlier today. I talked to him at the press conference this morning at uh, 1 o'clock today. I'm going to have a bunch of things. We're up at the biggest thing. It's in my column right now. Okay, so Johnny Katz, read his column uh, 3A every day and online all the time. Right. And tomorrow's column will be about Circa opening and with interviews with Derek Stevens. Talk to Mark Davis too, the Raiders fans. I talked to him. All right. Uh, one of our old friends here tonight, one of the newsmakers. Uh, I think the takeaway is that um, it, it generates, it's taken the resorts in downtown Las Vegas to the strip level. It feels like a strip opening. Uh, the last time I felt like this, a uh, resort opening was at the Cosmopolitan in 2009. And uh, Mandarin Oriental opened that year and all those things. And this is what this place feels like. And uh, it's staggering. It's not, it's not the best time to open. Yeah, he opened early. It was going to be uh, December, but he bumped it up to October. I'm looking forward to the next wave. There's some really cool stuff still to come online, especially the Legacy Club. I'm really looking forward to that in December. Yep. Talk to Gary about that a little bit today. And uh, the sports book is, is uh, crazy. Uh, the, the stadium swim is just like being at an MDM before. So it has a very MGM, a park MGM vibe, MGM grand kind of vibe with some of the amenities. And uh, I think it's going to do really well. Uh, once we get 
out of this uh, current pandemic uh, protocol situation. It's going to be really good. Yeah, it'll be a lot more fun uh, without a mask, of course. I'm We're whip, baby. All right. It's been a long day today. Yes, it sure has. Well, we'll let you go. Where are you headed next? Are you heading to? I'm heading to the Sheets Lounge. All right, the sheets. I got it. I got it. Okay, well, I guess we will sign off for now. Great to see you, Johnny Katz. Kevin Cannon, Johnny Katz, reporting live from Circa. It's open. It's open to the public. Come on down. Find all you need to know about Circa. Reviewjournal.com slash Circa. Read Johnny Katz's column tomorrow or tonight. It'll post tonight. It's on now, baby. It's on now, baby. We'll see you. Thanks for watching.